is time up for Sean Dyche. That is the thing we're debating in this video as well as getting the Everton fan Dylan, friend of the channel, on at the later part of the video. So let's start off with Everton so far this season. They kicked off the season at home for a 1-0 defeat to Fulham. A game where they wasted chances and Fulham's man of match was goalkeeper. So fair enough, goalkeeper. They had a good game, but going into that game, you know, Fulham were probably the favourites, but Everton wastes so at home the games they should be taking advantage of. So you're like, okay, fair enough. They've now got Villa away second game. Try and keep the low score and try and nick something, that's what you got to say. You know, this Villa side, very good under Emery. Nope, get pumped, 4-0, not even in the game. Absolutely just battered, put aside, terrible. So you're like, okay understand they weren't really expected should them better against Fulham expected result against Villa at the moment they're like okay next game they're at home against Wolves a relegation candidate for them this is a game where Everton have to win there's no draws there's no losses on the mind here it's a must win game they can see an 87th minute goal and like the Fulham game the Wolves keeper was the man of the match However, looking at the stats, a 1-1 draw would have been a fair result. But, again, Everton, a game where they should have done better. That's a couple points there, you know. We're looking at the Fulham game. They should have won by the chances they had. They end up losing that game. So there's three points gone. Stats-wise, they should have drawn against Wolves. That's another point gone. And Wolves gaining three. You know, that's terrible. Then going to the cup game. This is a chance for Everton to get some confidence against, at the time, bottom of the 92, Doncaster Rovers. You're like, alright, you're going to put a couple past them. And this is a good confidence booster. No, Doncaster Rose for half the game, up until half time, played them off the park, were 1 0 up at half time. Everton then got two late goals to stop it being a disaster of a day. Could have gone way differently. And, you know, even stats wise, a draw probably would have been fair. Then, speaking of draws, we're going to the next game. Everton await Sheffield United. Like the Wolves game, it's a game where they must win. It's a relegation candidate. And they go 1 0 up. Great start to the game. They then concede two goals before half time. They do, to be fair to them, they do get an early second half equaliser. But, looking at the stats, again, expected goals, wasted chances. Chances. chances they should be scoring, they're missing. And then you go into the latest game, which is a 1-0 defeat at home to Arsenal, to be expected and played off the park similar to the Villa game, just not as heavily a scoreline conceding. So, do I think it's time up for Dyche after all that information I just gave you? I think if you can get a manager that you think will give you a better chance or give you better football, then maybe yes, but... If you're going to appoint another manager at just hoping to survive and not playing a great style of football, I think you just stay with Dice because I don't know if there's a better alternative that would actually come to Everton. So that's the way I see it. If you can get a better one, get it. But at the moment in time, I don't think Everton can do better than Sean Dice. I think you just got to stick it through until at least January and see what it's like. So now let's see what Dylan, the Everton fan, has to say. Do I think Deitch should be sacked? Well, it's a bit complicated, but I'll do my best to summarise it in a somewhat reasonable moment of time. Let's start off with the obvious. As the old cliche goes, football is a results-based business, and the results Everton have been getting this season have simply not been anywhere close to good enough, to be honest, even with financial and ownership issues plaguing the club off the pitch, of course. One thing to take into account is whether Everton can actually afford to sack Sean Deitch. Under the tenure of Farhad Nishiri, Everton have spent in the high tens of millions, if not more, on paying managers out of their expensive contracts. This, combined with the fact that they're literally having to take out short-term loans at expensive interest rates just to keep the lights on for another month, a fact confirmed by The Athletic, by the way, means that Everton likely wouldn't even have the capital to pay Deitch out of his relatively modest contract without it incurring some serious consequences, potentially. In my opinion, the main flaw of Deitch's reign, thus far at least, has been the tactics. Often under him, we've looked more toothless than a whale in our performances, absolutely dead and buried from the first minute, if I'm honest with you. The best example of this was a recent home loss against Arsenal, where, honestly, the opposition were extremely poor and there for the taking, particularly in the first half. Too often under Deitch, we failed to capitalise on opportunities, and while Neil Mope leaving the club should have helped this, it seems we instead just stopped creating chances at all. While I believe all of what I just stated to be true, I think it's also extremely important to note that Sean Deitch has not really had a fair go at it, to be honest. 
particularly due to the crippling financial issues at the club, meaning that he's not being given an opportunity to bring in players that he would want, while being forced to sell players just to balance the books. I think sadly maybe being able to bring some of his own players, we might be having a different conversation right now. Who'd be sacking then? Probably. Aye. It's very disappointing for me as just a few months ago I thought Dyche would be the man who would stabilise the club and bring us back to being at least a solid mid-table side. Given time, he might end up doing that, but I'm not sure that we should risk the very future of the club as a whole as being relegated would probably bankrupt the club in our current situation for the possibility of that happening. I would love for him to prove me wrong, but in the very fragile state Everton find themselves in, I don't think he should really be given the chance. Honestly, I find it quite difficult to summarise it all in such a short amount of time. There's so many different nuances to it um, and I think you know maybe it's something for me to make my own video about at some point um, or maybe about Everton as a whole either way thanks very much to my boy Kevin for having me yet again and um, subscribe to his channel like the video take care all the best alright it was really interesting to hear what an actual Everton fan had to say and of course that insights into the finance briefly hopefully Dylan actually gets back into making content because he's a great content creator go subscribe to him and subscribe to me if you haven't already we're getting close to 1k and I'll see you guys next time goodbye